Good morning, everybody. Hi, I'm Darren. And today at Garden Bug Poetry, we are going to hear a new poem, a poem called The Hippopotamus Challenge. I've gone ahead and sent it out last night on the Twitter and Facebook page so everyone can see it while I read it. Uh, I'll read the poem. We're going to talk about poetry for just a little bit. And then I have prompts for both the younger kids and the older kids if they want to challenge themselves to participate in writing a poem that is very probably similar to the Hippopotamus Challenge. So, the poem today, the Hippopotamus Challenge. Hippopotamus, 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 Hippopotatus, Hippopotasaurus, Hippoportant, Hippopotamus, Hippopopophus, Hippomatorus, Hippotalinitus, Hipporotumus, Hippolarus, Hippopotorus, Hippopotspot, Hippopophus, Hippoparutsky, Hippopopasas, Hippophysis, Hippopotamus, Hippotipupus, Hippostopop, Ifopotamus, Ifomartumapus, Isophopatorus, Istumapapapus, Hippopotamus, Hippopapapapa. So, that is the Hippopotamus Challenge. And the goal with a poem like that, right, and lesson for the day, is poem can be as much about sounds, the collision of sounds, how sounds bounce into each other and off of each other, and that kind of stuff is just as fun as anything with writing. Playing with the language, playing with all the different sounds you can make and make up, right? Sometimes it's fun just to make writing with nonsense. It's fun to use your imagination, to let the imagination let loose without any goal other, to, other than to appreciate the language and to have fun with it. And poetry is one of the best avenues for that. It's one of the best ways you can take words and sounds and mix them up and just have fun with it. In a poem like the Hippopotamus Challenge, every time I come into an elementary school, it is the favorite poem I read. I read it at the Dublin Library a couple weeks ago, and I read the Hippopotamus Challenge, and everyone was hysterical. They were laughing and having fun and making up their own animal poems on the spot. So a poem like the Hippopotamus Challenge, you can really just sort of mess with stuff and have fun with the language and make sure that whenever you sit down to write or be creative, you just let it loose, like the hippopotamus challenge, right? So remember, when you're writing, when you're playing with poetry, or when you're painting, or when you're doing any of those fun artistic things, it is okay to make up words, to change the words, or the paints, or the colors, to have fun with it, let it all just sort of tumble and dance and let it all just be fun. Because that's what poetry is. Poetry is using music and energy and language and doing all of those things at the same time uh, so that people can be elevated, so that we can have fun with art. Right? So that's one of the things especially, and that's why I love the Hippopotamus Challenge poem. So what we're going to do for our first writing prompts, right? For the younger kids, this will be our first prompts, right? Is to pick your favorite animal and write a poem using the sounds that animal makes. So if you were trying to write a poem like a dog would write a poem, what sounds does a dog make? What sounds does a cat make, or a dolphin, or a whale, or any of those? What's, what kind of poem would a snake write? Right? So take the sounds that an animal uses 
and try to get a poem out of it. So this is for our younger kids, right? This is for preschoolers and kindergarten and first and maybe second graders. Take an animal sound and try to write a poem out of it, okay? So for the older kids, this is the prompt for you. What are your favorite sounds that aren't actually words? Write a poem that uses those sounds more than the actual words. Make up the words if you need to, right? And take those things and have fun with it and play with it. And if it doesn't make any sense at all, why does that matter? We're having fun with poetry. We're having fun with the sounds and the language and the music that we can put into it. Just being creative, just letting it loose and having fun with it. Okay. So those are our two prompts for the day. Poem of the day was the hippopotamus challenge. I'll put that up on Facebook and Twitter, like I said earlier, so you can see it and sort of see how silly it is. Um, and no matter, no matter what I do with that poem, it always sounds different every time I read it just because it's fun. Um, so please, if you enjoy writing the poem, whether you're a younger kid or an older kid and you want to send it to Garden Bug Poetry, please do. We'll read all the poems that come in and our favorites, we will make sure to read on the next recording. Okay, so gardenbugpoetry at gmail.com. Send the poems our way. It can be a screenshot of the poem or uh, if you know how to use a computer and you want to type it up and send it our way, please do. We are going to have a lot of fun reading all the work that you write when you're at home. Okay, so I hope it's a beautiful day where you are. I hope you're having fun. I hope that you enjoy getting to write a new and very silly sort of sound poem. Um, wherever you are, stay safe and stay ornery. <laughs> See you tomorrow.